Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky. Welcome to day 23. I'm pretty tired. I already put on my recreation clothes. So, here's a quick gospel chop for you. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to this channel so you can see what's going to come out tomorrow. But for now, let's get into this chop. All right, simple chop. I'll give you a couple of variations on it, some different things that you can do. I'm going to teach this in 16th notes because it makes it a lot easier to count. So here's what's going on. It starts on the end of one. So we have one and a two E and a three. So that's the first part of the chop. One and a two E and a three. So you have crash or, you know, whatever beat you're playing. Right, left, right, left, right, kick, right. So that kick drum is replacing the left hand. And a two E and a three. Okay? And a two E and a three. And a two E and a three. So get used to that. There is a variation you can do. We'll talk about that in a second. So the second half of this fill, once you hit the snare drum, you're going to go right, left, right on the just kind of a cascade down the toms, like an old kind of Max Roach thing, bucket of fish, right? So we're going to go three, E, and a, uh, four, E, and a, uh, one. So three, E, and a, uh, four, E, and a, uh, one. You got a double kick. Now, a uh, cool thing that you can do just to make it sound cool is to add a stack or a hi-hat or a crash with the bass drum. Your ride cymbal would work too. I know I got this weird stack here over my ride. It's just what I had set up. Uh, so you're going to go right, left, right. And then when you do the kick, kick, you're going to go left, right. And then left, right, left, right. That makes the end of it sound like this. So the whole thing with that going on would sound like this. Okay, quick variation. So what we were playing before is and uh, two, E, and uh, three, right? So right, left, right, left, right, kick, right. But you can play right, left, right, left, kick left right so the kick goes one sixteenth note earlier and that sounds like this all right so that's one variation uh the other variation that you can do is just move that left hand up to the small tom so you get a little bit more of a melody you get that kind of a thing going on all right guys i hope that helped you out this is just a quick one just so I get something up to you, I'll see you tomorrow.